one unit will be deadly for our for our body correct therefore if somebody takes an, uh, a poison the poison is enough to to break this buffer system and cause the person to to pass away not pass out pass away because the buffer is no more the, the, the blood will fight will fight it to the limit that it will break its characteristic of being a buffer any chemical compound that's buffer means it will resist any change of the uh, pH solution correct any question any question now we'll go for the on the board how to calculate the pH and that will be in our final exam in your ACS exam the lecture and in your homemade exam by me and in the lab homemade by me exam let's go to a look at how we calculate the pH correct let's let's look here and let's look at the pH and then we'll go through this together here guys just give me some time and uh, here's the pH what is the pH it turns out the pH is just a formula but math formula correct correct which is minus log, let me just write it here, just here, number one. What is the pH? The pH is minus log, yeah, minus log, the pH is minus log of the concentration of the plutonium ion, correct? In the past we had, in the past we had, uh, in the past, we had um, minus log, correct, H plus. But this one does not exist. This one is not correct. This is the correct one, correct? This is not correct. There is no H plus. H plus always hydrated, and therefore, uh, you get H3O plus. So H3O plus called hydronium ion. This is called what? Hydronium, hydronium ion, correct? And the H plus is? proton ion so there is no free proton ion and this one does not exist this one is the correct one so it turns out to be if you look at this and I have a solution for example and this is coming from the H2O by the way H2O liquid plus H2O liquid will dissociate to give you H3O plus plus OH minus so here it is guys let me just make it smaller here so here it is, we have, and the pH it turns out to be, the, it has a KW. And this we call the, the water here dissociation constant. Water dissociation constant, the same thing you learned today about chapter 9, uh, chapter 10, KW, correct? Product over the reactant will be H3O plus concentration multiplied by OH minus, correct, the product over the reactant. H2O multiplied by H2O. Okay, here it is. Now, make sure that's AQ, AQ, and here liquid, and here liquid, correct? Always KW discard, discard H2O liquid correct why because why because it does not change the concentration the concentration of h2o does not change does not change correct guys so now it turns out to be then okay that's liquid liquid aqueous aqueous so it turns out to be this one out, this one out, and KW is made of H3O plus O minus. That's all what it is. This is your KW, dissociation constant of H2O. Now, if you look further, KW is, 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 is uh, determined by, by experiment. It's determined by, by experiment, correct? at 25 degrees room temperature and it turns out to be the the hydronium ion correct equal the OH hydroxide ion correct equal 10 minus 7 molar by experiment correct by experiment it should found those are together correct so now 
With this experiment data, I can put this one, plug in this one inside. So uh, let me put this one inside here, number two. I have KW will be. Okay. Yes, sorry about mm -hmm. this. Yeah. So KW here will be. Yeah. KW here will be H3O plus hydronium ion multiplied by hydroxide ion, correct? And if you replace this one here, 10 minus 7, this will be 10 minus 7, correct? And the whole thing is 10 minus 14. So KW now is H3O plus multiplied by OH minus equal 1.0010 10 minus 14. This is to be memorized for the final exam, to be, will not given to you, to be memorized for the final, final exam. So, can I, can I um, move this one around? Yes, I have this. Then I can say, out of this one here, I can have H3O plus, will be what guys? Will be KW, over OH minus. Correct, guys? And then I have this 1.00 10 minus 14 divided by OH minus. That's another modification of the log. Okay, guys? Now, can I modify this one further? Yes, I can modify this one further. I say, okay, let's see here. I can make this one here. The OH minus the hydroxide ion is KW over H3O plus, correct? And this is 1.0010 10 minus 14 by experiment divided by H3O plus. So now I can determine, determine all this concentration of each of those, correct? Now, let's do some, some example. I'll do some example and then I'll let you do the experiment. One example or two. And then we'll do the experiment. So, are you following? So now, out of this, out of this way, I can determine if I take the pH of both, correct? The pH. If I take the pH of those here. So let me let me take another page, and then show you here. Remember that uh, number page number three. The uh, HO3 plus, correct, guys? Will be KW. Ten minus fourteen. Correct, guys? 10 minus 14 over the OH minus. And the OH minus here. Correct? 110 minus 14 divided by H3 of plus. And if I look at those here, correct? And this is, you have to memorize them because this is coming from the major one, which is KW is 1.00 10 to minus 14 equal to H3O plus uh, multiplied by OH minus. So this is coming from this. And then out of this, you have the, those two, correct? Now, if I take both sides log logarithm by taking logarithm of both sides, correct? So say, for example, log of H3O plus is equal to log of the whole thing here, 1 o, o, 10 minus 14, guys, over OH minus. And the other one, log OH minus equal minus log uh, equal Take the minus log here, take the minus log, both minus log. So minus log and minus log here. Minus log. Okay. Minus log. So I'm taking minus log of both sides. This is minus. And this is minus. And this is minus here, guys. Minus. And minus. And log of 1.10 minus 14 divided by H3O plus, correct? So what's out of this law here, what of this here, 
I'm getting something very good relationship, which says the pH plus the pOH, correct, equal to 14.0. That's another law here to be memorized. Here it is, guys, to be memorized here. So just, you know, you, have, you don't have to worry about doing the whole, the whole thing, but this is to be memorized. So the pH, remember the pH is minus log, correct? Minus log the H, and the pOH minus log the OH, correct? Let's do now an example, and then let's do some after those laws here. And as I said, you have to memorize those laws. It will not be given to you in, uh, in the final exam in the lecture or the final exam in the lab or the ACS exam. They will not be given to you as you are. You have to memorize them how to, to, to do all those. Number four, an example, correct? An example. Number four here, guys. And then I will let you do the experiment. Now, page number four. How about I have a solution? A solution of HCl is acidic, correct? That's an acid, correct? Uh, is 3.000 molar, correct? Calculate the pH, the pH of this solution, correct guys? This is an example and then we'll do the base. So how I approach this? Well, HCl, HCl strong acid, correct? Strong acid. And you will, you will learn this one later on. So then the pH will be minus log, and it's dissociate to give you what? H plus plus Cl minus, which is really H3O plus over H2O here, plus Cl minus. This is the correct one, correct? So minus log H3O plus. And the solution is minus log 3.800 so that's the pH. Somebody will help me what okay, take the log, minus log of 3.800. What's the value? Somebody has it? Somebody has it? What is the 3.800, the log, minus log of this? How much is it? Somebody has it? Come on, guys. The cell phone will not work, will work because the calculator is uh, cell phone that has to be scientific. Somebody has it? Negative what? Negative. You did the log or minus log? The negative log is minus. No, it has to be minus. Minus will be plus. So how, what's the value here? Minus minus will be plus. So what the value? Negative what? Negative zero point thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. No, I need the whole value. I need the whole value. Point three what? Point five seven nine seven nine seven eight three five nine six six. Well, I can't hear too many points. One at a time. Please pull yourself down. You have to call ourselves. Point what? Five, correct? Yes. And then what's the second one? Seven. Seven. Nine. Nine. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Three. Three. Five. Five. Nine. Nine. Six. 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 Okay. This is the pH of, correct? This is the pH of the solution. Now listen guys. This is the, will be in the, in, the, in the exam, and this will be in the final exam, and this will be in the SS exam. Now, since the solution, this is, this is how to round the pH, it's very different. Sig fix, sig fix of the pH, correct? And that will be, to something called rounding off, okay? Rounding off. Now you go from the real value, the real value is 3.800 molar, correct? How many significant figures we have here? How many? Okay, sorry. How many significant figures we have here? Two? No, guys. Guys, don't tell me, don't tell me two. How much is it? 38.00, four sig fix, correct? Four sig fix. So four sig fix, so therefore we will have to have, we will have to have four digits after decimal. 
So this is very important. So I have four here, therefore I have four. So the answer is, this answer will be then, is point five seven nine seven will be eight. So it has how many? I don't care about this, the first four. thing. Here. It has to be four digits, four digits after decimal, correct? Now another example, another example. The experiment will not take half an hour. It should not take even more than 40 minutes or really 25. Yes? Because you have negative, negative. It can be there. Because we started with the negative. The other. So and you, take, you took this one here. You took this, correct? You took log of this positive, uh, this. It came negative. Negative with negative, make positive. Okay? Negative, negative, make positive. It can be. Okay, so. Another one. Let's take here, guys. Let's take here. This is number page number four, number five. Page number five here. Okay, guys. Here it is. Sodium hydroxide concentration is 1.2 molar. So the pH. What is the pH? Now this is tricky, correct? This is tricky. It's not direct like the, the pH of the acid. You get the minus log, correct? That is tricky. There are two ways to do it. How many? Two ways. So, two ways, and you choose whatever you like. Two ways to do to uh, solve this problem, to solve the pH of a base, correct? Two ways. What are those ways? The easiest way is, the easiest way is, is the pH plus the pOH, correct? Equal 14.0, correct? Are you following? So now, I have this. Then I say the pH, I don't know, that's unknown. That's unknown. The pOH is what? Minus log the OH, correct? <coughs> and equal 14.0. And then here I have the pH plus minus log, and then you have 1.2, correct? 1.2 equal to 14.0. What is the log of the pH plus, and then here minus, correct? Log, log 1.2. It will come positive, correct? Negative, negative will come positive. How much is it? Zero. What? Zero? Zero. Zero point what? Seven, nine, eight, zero, one. Zero, zero point, this, the, after the decimal, what's the number? Zero. Zero? Yes. Seven, nine. Seven, nine. One. One. Eight, one. Eight, one. Two. Two. Four, six. Four, six. So, this is negative or negative become positive. So it has to be what? Positive here. Correct? 14.0. Now, I will do all my calculation and then I'll do the rounding and then do all calculations. Rounding at the end. Rounding at the end. And the rounding depends on depends on the given value. The given depends on the given value, correct? So now guys, the pH will be what? The pH, this is one way, this is the first way, correct? The pH will be what guys? Somebody will tell me, 14.0 minus, correct? 14.0 minus 0.079181246. So what's the, what's the answer here? What's the answer here? Somebody will tell me? Somebody has it? Will be what? 14 will be what? Somebody will tell me what's the answer here? Come on guys, 14 minus this value. We give it, that, give it 13 point what? 9? 2? 0? 0? 818? 818? 75.4. 75.4. So now, remember my value is 
This one here, I go back all the way up here. How many sig figs I have? Two. Two sig figs, correct? <coughs> so two sig figs. How many digits after the decimal? Digits after the decimal, how many? One. No, digits after the decimal is equal to the, equal two. Equal the same, significant equal two, correct? So my answer has to be what? Two. two the pH will be? Two after this. 3, 13, I don't care about the 13 here, guys. I don't care about the 13 here. It is, I don't care about the 13. Correct? And how many how many digits after the decimal I have to have? 2. So it would be what? 9, 2. This is very unique uh, 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 determination of sig figs just for the pH. Just for the pH, for the log. Correct? So the answer is 13, and I have... Two significant figures, I have two digits after the decimal. So this is the answer here. Are you following? Yeah. Now, let's do the second one. Just pull yourself down, let's do the second one. The second way to do, the second way, I was counting, so I was counting. The second way we have to do, number uh, number six, we have sodium hydroxide, correct? NaOH is 1.2 molar, correct? Well, this one here is 1OH minus is 1.2, correct? Then the H plus will be what? Remember the low we did? Will be, uh, will be 1.00, 10 minus 14. Remember the, the low we say? Divided by the OH minus, correct? And this is 1.00, 10 minus 14 divided by 1.2. So, what's the answer is here? What's the answer is here? Somebody will tell me? Keep the 10 minus 14 by itself. So how much is, keep the 10 minus 14 by itself. We'll keep it so we don't have any error. So 1.0 divided by 1.2, how much is it? 1.00 divided by 1.2. Close to one, correct? So what's the value? 0.5? No, it's a 0 0.83. So, 0 0.5 came out. So give me the whole value then. How much? 0 0.83. 0 0.83. A lot of threes after that. And then threes, threes, threes. I would say yeah. three, and then just the sign here. And this is the value here. Correct? So this following? It came right like this. So, I'll leave it like this. So now, the pH is now, that's the second, the second way. This is the second, second uh, way. Then I say minus log of 0 0.8333, 10 minus 14. So how much is it? If we have done a very good job, it should come very close to 13.9 something. If we have done a very good job. So it should be close 9 point something, 9 to the same like the value the first way we did. The value we did, so we should have minus log of this value, it should come up to the close to uh, 13. Um, so what's the value came up to be? Minus log 0 0.8335, 10 to minus 14. This is 10 minus 14. Yeah, it's about 14 point. 14 point what? 07. 14, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, it's not 13.9? Uh -huh. 14.0? Yeah, 7. 7? 9. 9. 3. 3. 5, 5. 5, 5. Okay. So, we have two significant figures here. We will have to have 14.08. Correct? So now, this is coming because of the rounding. See here, why those values? That's the second way. Second way here. Second way. And the first way we got out of this 13.1, 13.92. 13 mm -hmm. I did not calculate, that's the first way. But you can see those are almost identical. There's something with the rounding here. So this one here is affecting Affecting what? Affecting our uh, identical data, identical answer. 
So we are rounding this one here, and that will affect. So this is, but it came out almost 14 point of the same thing. So uh, with the assumption that your calculation is correct. Any question you have? Any question? So you can expect this one here will be in the final exam, lab, lecture, and ACS exam. Now the last thing here before I quit, we can let you do the experiment. Let's do the pH scale, correct? The pH scale, page number seven. pH scale. The pH scale here, from zero to six, is acidic, correct? Then you have seven is neutral. And then eight to fourteen, eight to fourteen is eight to fourteen is basic. So you know that this this is our our scale, and we can determine if the uh, if the compound is acidic or uh, basic. Any question you have, guys? Any question you have? Any question? That will conclude the recitation of the lab. Okay. Thank you very much.